Hello everyone. Thank you for joining us for another virtual story time from Bay County Library System. My name is Miss Dina. I'm one of the children's librarians here. I work at Wirt Public Library in Bay City. I'm so excited to be presenting another story time for you today. Can you help me sing our hello song to get started? We sing hello friends at the beginning of all of my story times. So we say hello with our hands like this with the sign language sign for hello. And then we say friends with our fingers like this. We take one friend on this finger and one friend on this finger and they give each other a hug. If that's kind of hard for you, you can also use one hand and one hand and say friends like that with your hands. So are you ready to sing with me? It goes, hello friends, hello friends, hello friends. It's time to say hello. Will you sing it with me one more time? Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Thank you so much for singing along. So I have some stories and rhymes and songs about apples today. And I have some stories and rhymes and songs about pumpkins as well, because my story time theme today is fall. And in the fall, sometimes we go apple picking. Sometimes we go to the pumpkin patch. So all of my rhymes and songs today are about apples and pumpkins in the fall. So let's take out our hands. We're going to do open, shut them. Ready? Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Fold them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, crawl them. Creep them, crawl them right up to your chin. Open wide your little mouth, say ah, but do not let them in. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Fold them in your lap, lap, lap. Very good. Our story today is called Hello Fall. And it's by Deborah Deason with pictures by Lucy Fleming. And this book is presented with permission from Macmillan Books. Hello, fall. Ooh, look at all of those colorful leaves. Are you noticing lots of colorful leaves outside your house right now? So this is a book about all of the things that we can say hello to in the fall. It's about a little girl. It looks like she's taking a walk with her grandpa. Do you remember when we met that little woolly bear making its way across the sidewalk? We stopped to say hello. We touched its gentle prickles and laughed when it curled into a ball. We watched it uncurl and move on tiny feet through the sunshine and through the shadows. Squirrels were everywhere, digging holes and hiding acorns. Would they remember all those spots later? There's acorns up in the tree. Oh, there's a squirrel running along a branch with an acorn. I see some squirrels on the ground digging holes for their acorns. Where else do we see squirrels? So many squirrels. There's another one up in the tree here. Oh, and it looks like this one left its acorn in a hole that was marked with a sign. Do you think the squirrels in your neighborhood are marking their acorns with a sign? How do you think they remember where they are? All around us, we heard the whisper of trees. Red leaves talking to yellow leaves, talking to orange leaves, talking to purple leaves. We listened closely and then we whispered to each other everything the trees had told us. We sat on a big rock and crunched crispy apples and drank sweet apple cider. A flock of geese flew over and we waved up at them. They honked hello, so we honked back at them as loudly as we could. We touched our fingertips to the tiny petals of golden chrysanthemum blooms. We wondered if the mums were ticklish. 
We sure heard someone laughing. Who was laughing? I think it was maybe the girl and her grandpa, or maybe it was the bumblebees, or maybe it was the flowers. Over in the pumpkin patch, we told a patient pumpkin all about our big plans. We found another pumpkin who was a good listener too. That's a pretty big pumpkin. We picked them both and we loaded them carefully. Oh, what are they loading them into? <gasps> into their wagon that they brought with them. I think they'll put the big pumpkin in first and then the little pumpkin. We took turns pulling the wagon home. Oh, first grandpa's pulling it and she's riding along with the pumpkins. And then she tried pulling it with grandpa riding along with the pumpkins. Oh, we liked it best when we pulled together. What are they gonna say hello to next? Back home, we had the same excellent idea about the leaf pile. Hello, fall, we said as we ran toward it and fall replied, jump in. They jumped right into that pile of leaves. Later on, we counted on our fingers all the bits of fall we'd said hello to. What did they say hello to? They said hello to the caterpillar, the woolly bear caterpillar. They said hello to the squirrels and to the flowers and to the apples and to the pumpkins and to the leaves. There were so many that we ran out of fingers and we had to start counting on toes. When we did, we heard that wonderful laughter again. Together, we savored the tender treasures we'd found when we'd greeted fall. Beauty, bounty, wonder, and love. So they're having a nice big meal with their whole family in the fall. And that's the end of that story. Hello, fall. All that talk about apples and pumpkins is making me awfully hungry. So I thought that we could do some rhymes about some of the different yummy things that we can eat in the fall. So one thing that we can eat, of course, is apples, right? So I have some apples that we can put up on our board. I have five apples. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five apples, five apples. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, there's some different colors up here too, aren't there? There's some red apples. I see two red apples. I see two green apples and I see one yellow apple. So lots of different colors of our apples up here right now. So I have a rhyme about five little apples. And it goes like this, five little apples hung on a tree, but the farmer didn't see. So guess who came to eat? Guess who came to eat? It's a, a horse. What does a horse say? The horse says, nay. The farmer didn't see. So guess who came to eat? A horse. The horse is gonna eat an apple. The horse goes, Munch, 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 munch. Now we have one less apple. Now we have four apples. One, two, three, four. Four little apples hung on a tree, but the farmer didn't see. So guess who came to eat? Uh-oh, it's a goose. The goose says, what does a goose say? A goose says, honk, honk. Honk, honk. So, he's gonna eat one of the apples. Which one? This one. Munch, 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 munch. How many apples do we have now? Just three, three, three apples. One, two, three. Three little apples hung on a tree, but the farmer didn't see. So guess who came to eat? It's a... A pig, oink, 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 oink. 
And munch, 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 munch. Now we have two little apples. Two little apples hung on a tree. The farmer didn't see. So guess who came to eat? It's a, a cow, moo, says the cow. Ah, uh, munch, 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 munch. Just one apple left. One little apple hung on a tree. The farmer didn't see. So guess who came to eat? It's a, a chicken. Quack, 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 quack. And the chicken is going to munch, 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 munch that apple right off the tree. Now the tree is bare. No more apples there. But when next fall comes around, guess who will be there? The chicken. What's the chicken say? Quack, 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 quack. And the cow. Moo, moo, moo. And the pig. Oink, 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 oink. And the goose. What's the goose say? Do we remember? Goose says, honk, 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 honk. And the horse. What's a horse say? Nay, nay, nay. Very good. I have five more apples that we can put up on our board. Let's see. These ones are different apples. These are all different colors. That's a green apple and a purple apple, a rainbow apple, a blue apple, and a red apple, of course. And inside one of these apples is a little worm. So this is a hide and seek game that we can play with our little worm. It goes like this. Little worm, little worm, playing hide and seek. Are you under the apples? Let's take a peek. So let's guess a colored apple. Hmm, green's my favorite color. So let's guess that one first. Little worm, little worm, playing hide and seek. Are you under the green apple? Let's take a peek. <gasps> nope, there's no worm in the green apple. Hmm, we have four apples left. One, two, three, and four. Let's guess another one. Little worm, little worm, playing hide and seek. Are you under the blue apple? Let's take a peek. <gasps> no worm in the blue apple. Uh-oh, three apples left. One, two, three. What color do you think we should guess next? How about the purple apple? Are we ready? Little worm, little worm, playing hide and seek. Are you under the purple apple? Let's take a peek. Nope, no worm in the purple apple. Hmm, just two apples left. A rainbow apple and a red apple. I really wanna see if it's inside the rainbow apple. Are you ready? Little worm, little worm, playing hide and seek. Are you in the rainbow apple? Let's take a peek. Nope, there's definitely not a worm in this rainbow apple. So that means it must be in the red apple, right? Are we ready? Little worm, little worm, playing hide and seek. Are you in the red apple? Let's take a peek. <gasps> and there's our little worm. Our little worm was in the red apple all this time. And that's the end of that rhyme. All right, I've turned my whiteboard around to help me with our next story. Our next story is about going to the pumpkin patch. And as I tell it, I'm going to draw it on the board. So every fall, my family drives out to a farm. Do you like to go to the farm with your family? We like to go to find the perfect pumpkin. At the farm, there's a big field that looks like this. There's the big field. Lots and lots of other families are there too. They're walking up and down the rows at the farm. Up and down. From the sky, this is what it would look like as we walk up and down the rows. My family walks up and down and to the side until we find the perfect pumpkin. There's our perfect pumpkin. And we cut it and we take it home with us. And we can do lots of things with our pumpkins at home, can't we? 
Let's think of some of what, what some of those different things are for one of our rhymes for later. We can make lots of yummy things with our pumpkins in a rhyme later on. All right, I have another rhyme that we can do about something that we can make from apples, something yummy, something like applesauce. So I have a rhyme, a rhyme about how we can make some applesauce. So we're gonna pick some apples, are we ready? First you pick an apple from a tree, a tree. Then you take it to the sink and you wash it, you wash it, you wash it, wash it, wash it. Make an apple, applesauce, mmm. Apple, applesauce, mmm. Then you take the apple and you peel it, you peel it. You peel it, peel it, peel it. Can you try that? Then you take an apple and you peel it. You peel it, you peel it, peel it, peel it. Make an apple, applesauce, mmm. Apple, applesauce, mmm. Then you take the apple and you chop it. You chop it, you chop it, chop it, chop it. Then you take the apple and you chop it. You chop it, you chop it, chop it, chop it. Make an apple, applesauce, mmm. Apple, applesauce, mmm. Then you take the apple and you squish it. You squish it, you squish it, squish it, squish it. Then you take the apple and you squish it. You squish it, you squish it, squish it, squish it. Make an apple, applesauce. Mmm. Apple, applesauce. Mmm. Then you take the applesauce and you eat it. You eat it. You eat it, eat it, eat it. Make an apple, applesauce. Mmm. Apple, applesauce. Mmm, yum. So we've done lots with apples. Now we're going to do something with pumpkins again. We're going to make some pumpkin bread. And this is a really silly rhyme. So we're going to make Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin bread. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin bread. Then pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin head. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin head. Then we can make pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin pie. Can you make a pie with a big circle with your arms? Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin pie. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin eye. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin eye. Then pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin cake. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin cake. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin shake. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin shake. Now we're gonna make pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin stew. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin stew. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin boo. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin boo. Very good. All right, friends, That's we're almost out of time today. So before we sing our goodbye friends song, why don't we wave goodbye? So we're gonna wave our hands a bunch of different ways. We're gonna actually wave our bodies a bunch of different ways. First, we're gonna wave up high. So wave up high and wave down low. I think it's time. We've got to go. So wave your elbows. Can you wave your elbows? Wave your elbows and wave your toes. Probably can't see my foot. Wave your tongue and wave your nose. Can you wave your nose or wiggle your nose? Wave your knees and wave your lips. Then blow a kiss with fingertips. Then wave your ear and wave your hair. Wave your belly and your derriere. When you wave your belly, you wave your derriere at the same time because that's your backside. Then wave your chin and wave your eye. Can you wink just one eye? Then wave your hands and say goodbye, goodbye. So now we're gonna sing goodbye friends. It's just like hello friends, except now we're gonna say goodbye with our hands like this. And remember we say friends in sign language with our fingers, one friend on this finger and one friend on this finger and they give each other a hug like this or like this. So we ready? Goodbye friends, goodbye friends, goodbye friends. It's time to say 
Goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. Hopefully you'll join us again next week. Thank you.